Yo, in this video, I'm gonna be finishing this beat idea with AI. Yes, AI. If you know me, I am a 20 plus year user of FL Studio, but we live in a world of AI now. It's here. We need to embrace it. And again, in this video, I'm going to be using Moises AI Studio, which I believe is the world's first AI DAW to finish this beat idea, which I've been stuck on for a couple of weeks now. I love this vibe. I just can't think of an idea to finish this off. So I'm going to be using AI to do so in Moises AI Studio. Let's give this a listen real quick, and then we'll hop into Moises AI Studio. I'm going to go over to Moises AI Studio. This is a web browser app right now, but it's seamless on here. So this is what this doll looks like. Make sure you click on this tab right here. Moises also has, if you're familiar with it, stem separation, voice studio, mastering, lyric writer, plugins. We're just going to be focusing on AI Studio today. This is brand new. And then if you go over here to the stem generation tab, you can use this and Moises will AI match. You can choose what it believes that it would be the best for it with drums, bass, guitar and others for this i'm kind of struggling with a counter melody so let's go to other and it has that real instrument element so i'm going to go to strings orchestral we're going to generate some strings and see what it comes up with all right so it created these strings There's a brand new feature up here because I've used this, but this is brand new. This AI chords, it'll detect the chords that are in your sample. So let's see what it comes up with here. And then with that, you can go over when you go to generate stems. So it's generating what it believes is the chord progression up top, F minor, C sharp, F minor, C sharp. So after we use the AI detect for chords within the sample, you can click on any one of these chords. Let's say if it got one of them wrong, for instance, you can go in, double click on it. You can change all of the settings within that chord if you needed to you can go to the root note change the root note it got everything right here so i'm not even gonna mess with this i just wanted to let you know you can change the bass note add a different kind of chord here seventh minor sustain and then hit save after you're done with it or you can delete the chord you can regenerate those stems if you want let's go to generate a new string we can fine tune this by clicking a little after we detect the chords we can fine tune the strictness on the context the conditioning and the harmonics and we can toggle this on to use the project chords and generate stem all right so it looks like it kind of like matched it a little bit just by the visual let's hear what it sounds like I like that so far i'm gonna keep that maybe as a layer there now i want to create some sort of counter melody on top something that i can go with a b section on this might be the a section something that i could put on a b section to kind of go back and forth on so maybe we choose another instrument let's try guitars let's just do ai match instead of doing something very specific you can just generate a guitar track based on the context of the audio here or maybe a guitar solo and then you can see right down here it says using two tracks to generate whatever you have unmuted it's going to use that so now it says one and this will only use this main track to generate this guitar all right so let's do the main one and we'll mute the second one let's leave the creative control off for this one let's leave both off and see what it comes up with all right we got something here You know me, I like chopping samples. This is great material to chop up later on, but I want to show you a little bit more about this. You can create drums. So if we wanted to create some drum tracks behind it, you could choose a whole bunch of different genres down below. You can also upload a reference audio. If you want something very specific, you can upload something and it'll use that for context instead of what you have in the project for context. But we're going to stick with the presets. Let's do AI match see what it comes up with for drums now my idea here is to get some sort of percussion loop that i can take flip maybe use as a texture in the background because i already have my drums in there i'm going to try percussion over here and see what it comes up with It's like some double time stuff, but I can stretch that or half time it later and see what we can come up with in FL Studio. So far, so good. I love this guitar that it created. Something else that's really cool about Moises AI Studio is they bring in the stem separation technology into AI Studio. So we can actually go to this 
percussion drums track click on the three dots over here and we can separate the stems we can select the stems that we want to separate and these are drums so if we go down to kick snare toms hi-hat and cymbals we can take the stems out of that drum track separate them to each individual instrument and utilize specific samples like if you just like the snare and you want to create a different pattern with the snare you can sample the snare because you have the stem of that that's something really innovative that's really awesome about this ai studio the hi-hats yeah that's gonna give me a lot of freedom when i bring everything else into fl something else that's really cool about moises ai studio is ai mixing you can analyze all of these tracks and you can mix them if you want to keep everything within moises ai studio you can do that and you can mix within here and you can get even more fine-tuned what sets moises ai studio apart from all these other ai programs and apps you have way way more freedom with moises than you do anything else it's made by musicians for musicians to help in that creative process not just do everything for you as you can see you can get really in depth with every little detail along the way in that process Process. So in the AI mixing, you can choose your sample rate, choose your format. You can export the mix and mix stems. You can choose your style. Track one consolidated. That's our main sample. You can choose where you want it in the mix. You want it in the background or you want it to be the lead. You want it to be panned. You want reverb on it. The strings. Where do you want those strings to sit? maybe more in the background sent to them with panning add some reverb where do you want that guitar solo to sit drums etc all your stems as well and then you can export that ai mix here but in this case i'm gonna click the download button and i'm gonna export all of my tracks in stems that way i can bring them into fl studio and finish the song we're gonna start by chopping up this guitar a little bit I like that piece took that hi-hat just the hi-hat stem that i took over there and i want to half time it now for that string i don't want to use too much of it i think i just like certain pieces of it yeah literally just that Yeah, I like the real-time hi-hat, actually. Blending that with my drums that I originally had, I think that's gonna sound pretty good. I think we need an 808, and then it might be pretty full. If I just took this little piece, reverse it. to try moises ai studio click the link down below and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me